We want all you folks to come on down to the swinging club in the swinging town. Cleveland, Ohio, home of the Browns, where jazz and blues wear the crown. In South Euclid on Mayfield Road, a sign outside is State Real Bowl. The house of swing is never cold. Come on in and take off the load. Finance in your business. Not all businesses need a significant amount of financing to get off the ground. Home-based businesses, for example, can be started for around $1,000 or less, and most of the startup costs can be funded with a business credit card. Home-based franchises can be started for as little as $2,000. Get advice from one of SBA's network mentors. A great place to start weighing up your financial options is to talk to your local SBA representative or an expert business counselor from SCORE, a small business development center or women's business center. Each organization has an experienced professional to guide you through finance programs and options. Access capital via SBA-backed small business loans. These loans include a range of options and are available for a variety of purposes including starting and expanding a business, exporting products or services overseas, and supporting green industries. Private investment money. Private investment in the form of venture capital, angel investing, and even government venture capital programs tend to be reserved for high-growth startups. Borrowing against or tapping into your retirement account. Here are three options for using your retirement plan to fund your business. Borrowing against your 401k. Instead of simply withdrawing funds outright, you could take a personal loan from your retirement account. If you have a 401k account, you can typically borrow up to 50% of your funds or $50,000, whichever is less. Whichever is less. Be sure to talk to your accountant and your existing 401k administrator and get the right professional advice before embarking on this option. Tap into your 401k IRA to invest in your business. If you really must tap into your retirement funds, tax law allows you to do it without penalty if you follow the rules, which can get complicated. Essentially, you will need to structure your business as a C corporation that will issue all of its stock and transfer it to a new 401k profit sharing plan in exchange for the cash in the plan. While it only takes a few steps to get started, you will need the help of a tax attorney or accountant to handle incorporating and setting up the new retirement plan. Withdrawal directly from your 401k. This should be your last option. Anything you withdraw is subject to regular income taxes and could draw a hefty tax penalty, depending on your age. Entrepreneurs tap into a variety of funding options to start or grow their business. Sources of funding may come from friends or family, the personal creativity of the business owner, otherwise known as bootstrapping, and even the growing trend of crowdfunding, where individuals contribute to a cause or business effort in return for shared ownership or other benefit. Visit www.sba.gov to learn about items you should consider on each of these options and the lessons learned from other entrepreneurs.